reported yet, but I've been talking about it. They were doing surveillance on their fucking on a parking lot and even inside the building, inside the gang unit office, and they caught them having sex. Now, who were they having sex with? Were they have sex with other officers? Or were they doing it with like people they've arrested? Now they're fucking calling in a favor. Who knows? But yeah, so that's Mission Gang Unit. You can talk about North Hollywood, Vice Unit. They were out there literally robbing illegal gambling operations. And so they got caught, and to keep it hush hush, they just, they just disbanded the Vice Unit. Those motherfuckers should have got arrested. You guys are so fucking ridiculous. They're going to be here all night. They're literally waiting for SWAT team. They are waiting for the fucking SWAT team to come in. They're going to come down and show you with a fucking bear cat against a man who's got a fucking cane. And apparently, I'm hearing now, they told, somebody called and said he had a knife. This guy does not have a knife. Like I said, I've been seeing this guy for 20 years, every fucking day. You know what he does all day long? He collects bottles. That's what he does. When he could walk, and he could barely walk now. The guy isn't even making it. So this is what happens when people nonchalantly call the fucking police. This is the response you get. This is the response you get from these fucking cops. Like that coon over there. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out that coon's name. I'm going to post that coon's picture online. We're going to talk about what that coon does. We're going to let all his fucking coon family know exactly who the fuck that coon is. All of this. All of this. The fucking watch commander is a fucking coward. Y'all some real fucking cowards. I'm going around the other side. Y'all want to hang around with me? Fine. Look, they got cops everywhere. This shit is so fucking stupid. Y'all want to hang around? I'm going to walk around to the other side and see what I can find. See if I can get a better view. Maybe if I can get into this parking garage, I'll come get a view, good view from the other side. These fucking cops are ridiculous. Like I said, I've known this guy. He's a homeless guy. He's been out here forever. The guy can barely walk now. And they got all these fucking cops for him. This is where your money goes. This is where half your budget, half of your discretionary budget goes to shit like this. Like, how many more cops do they need over there? Do they need more than, I mean, come on now, if you're going to sit there and, you know, at max, five, which seems ridiculous. I know this guy. I can go disarm him myself. I'm hopping on the scooter. Fucking ridiculous. See what I can come up with. I wish that was open. If I was open, I can go look through the other side. I want to fucking call. And this is what you get. This is what this is what the response is when you guys fucking call over an old man, you bitch ass motherfuckers. Every last one of you in there, you bitch ass motherfuckers. You heard me. Y'all calling the cops over an old man. I know. Okay. You gonna stay around here? Okay. You bitch ass motherfuckers right there. Right in that house. Fucking chumps. Y'all some fucking cowards. Real cowards. Y'all live two blocks away from me doing this shit. Y'all live two blocks away from my house pulling this shit bringing this sort of response. You fucking punk ass bitches in that house. Yeah, turn up the sound. You don't want to fucking hear it. Now I know. I know exactly where to look for you. We're going to talk about this, you punk ass motherfuckers. Snitching ass motherfuckers. Over an old man. Y'all 20 something years old and scared of an old man. You fucking punk, punk ass bitches. Unbelievable.
Look at this. Y'all, yes, I'm talking about you up in there. Y'all some fucking cowards. Straight up bitches. Y'all 20-something years old calling the cops on an old man. You fucking punk ass bitches. Just fucking leave the neighborhood at that point. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking leave. You punk ass bitch. I know you. I saw your face. I got you on video. I got you on video snitching to the cops. Yes, you. Let's see how that shit works. I hear you right behind the gates talking. Come out here. Let me get your face on camera. We're talking about this fucking snitch. Bitch ass. I see your fucking light right there. Right behind the fence, you bitch. Fucking snitches over an old man. Coward. They over there still giving orders to the guy to come out of the fucking tent. They're saying, can you hear me? What the fuck are you guys even talking about? Just go in there and just take his stick away. They're over here whispering on the fence. Fuck you, cowards. I got you on video snitching. I'm going to put your snitch ass faces out there. And I can still see the coon boy over there. Look at the fucking coon. So there's like, you know, again, right now, there's probably 10 cops standing around doing literally nothing, literally just nothing over one guy. I'm going back over the other side. Wait for SWAT team to get here. Look at you. They're still, I still hear him fucking giving orders. Yeah. Yeah, go talk to you. Like somehow this guy who they think has a knife, somehow the trajectory of the knife to come all the way across the street and hit him as he's trying to walk home. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Huh? You know that guy that's, you know that guy that's always right here? That old guy? They, yeah, he's a homeless guy. They, they, somebody said he had a knife. The guy could barely walk, you know? <laughs> He's not a threat. They don't need all this. I can walk over there right now. Yeah, and he'll come out, he'll come out right? Yeah. Walk with a cane. Yeah. Like, if you, if you, you have no idea how many cops are back there right now. So, yeah. Uh, right. Oh. So apparently, like you were saying, somebody who rents a unit over here saw the guy in the back with a stick in his hand and called the cops and said it was a knife. Uh, apparently, he just he had problems with the guy in the past because he just doesn't want him staying back there and he rents the business. And what a fucking mess. I know which one is spray. I, I know. I... Bitch ass all over the internet. Snitch ass. Got SWAT team out here. For three. You gotta come. I don't know. Guys are doing. They're sending more and more people to show up. It's just so stupid, man. They just keep on sending more people to show up. All of this is dumb. And the thing is, like, I, I, I you know, in the next couple of days, he's going to be let out pretty soon. In the next couple of days, I'm just going to fucking come over here and interview him and ask him, where's this guy? No, I don't trust him. This guy looks suspicious. He's up to something. Where 
is he doing? What the fuck was he doing? I see, I guess I got that rat over there. Oh, he was trying to find his car. He didn't even know where the fuck he parked or something. I can't believe that guy. Oh, here they come. Here comes SWAT. I hear the siren. Here comes the SWAT team. Look at a good view of this. Here they come. Here comes the SWAT team. What are we doing for a homeless person? Because that bitch ass motherfucker right there. Because of him, we got SWAT coming because of you. You guys pizza in his hand and shit. I hope you eat shit with that pizza. Are you happy with yourself? What do you look at this shit? Here we go. Here's the first SWAT team to come. Bitch ass. All this. All, the, all these resources. Because that punk right there. You had to come right to Sirens because it was such a fucking priority, right? got to come code three. You got to come code three because why? It's not like this hasn't been going on for three hours, but you know what? I got to come code three anyway. You fucking SWAT team. Coming one by one. Where's the... You guys happy with the resources that are being used? Hey, yo, you punk-ass motherfucking... Barbara, you happy with yourself? For an 80 year old man. Where's Rio Sack? I'm looking for Mario Rio, the SWAT team. He's a punk ass bitch. He's a murdering son of a bitch. Is that you, Rio? Murdering son of a bitch. You killed 16 year olds. You and your good buddy Montoya, who was in the SIS, now he's retired. I'm, I'm sad he fucking retired. Yo, where's Mario Rios at? Unbelievable. You guys happy? Look at this. People of LA, are you happy with the resources you're being used that are being used? Tell Mario I said suck my dick. You got that? You guys happy with the resources that are being used? This is fucking absurd. Here comes some more. I hear more sirens. We literally need the entire LAPD here now. We need every last one of them. All 9,100 officers. We need them here immediately for an 80 year old man. Y'all are some real fucking clowns. They're still coming. Look at you got another one coming over there. We need the whole department here immediately. We need the whole fucking department here. You guys are some real clowns. How many cops are here now? 30? For an old man sleeping in his tent. Oh God, here comes a bunch of them now. Look at them. Look at this dumb shit, man. How is this how is this fucking real life? How is this real life? Is that Mario Rios? I'm looking for Mario. You got that rat face cop right there. Dude literally looks like a rat. He literally looks at I heard something back there. Something something moved. You literally look like a rat. <laughs> At this point, because oh, this was stupid, man. That punk. What's he going in with? Oh my god! So they're what they gonna do the bomb disposal thing? Because he had spray paint, so now they're gonna fucking. Oh my god, look at that. They're gonna go dispose of his fucking. I don't even know what they're doing.
So now, this is the best part, right? Now, I'm not going to wait here for this. But now they're going to spend, my God, my throat is so fucked up. So now they're going to have a little huddle for the next, like, 45 minutes discussing what they've done. This was absurd, man. The ladder, that's why I go back around there. But they, but they, are, didn't they pull this thing apart already? With the they tore it all apart. They, they tore it apart. The guys, they went up the hill on the ladder, and they had that pole thing. Yeah, and they're saying it's going to it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. I didn't see if I could see because he literally has a bag. I'm just running away real quick. I'll come right back. He's about to come down, so I just didn't want him. I have a clear shot right here. He's just readjusting, and then I'll go back over there. He slammed spray paint at him. Yeah. I was just right on the other side. Once they go up the ladder, that's why I go back around there. But they, but they are, didn't they pull this thing apart already? With the they tore it all apart. Still laying in the bed. They, they tore it apart. The guys, they went up the hill on the ladder, and they had that pole thing. Yeah, and they're saying it's going to it's gonna get worse. It's going to get worse. I didn't see if I could see. Everybody around here. But anyway, they're going to be out here for a long time to come. The whole neighborhood is coughing right now. Everybody's coughing. But I'm happy you're coughing. You're the one that needs to cough. Look at him. Hey, he's coughing good. Good. Cough away. You need to cough. That's that snitch. He needs to cough. Look at all those cops. You're one of them, too. They're going to call them over here to ID them now. So you're going to do a, a private person's arrest. This motherfucker had the whole police force come out here to do a private person's arrest. That's what's about to happen. That guy right there, he's walking back there to go ID him to do a private person's arrest. All this. All this. All this because of him. All this because of him. I hope you cough. You need to cough. All because of you. You called the cops. You brought all this. That guy. And so now, look at him. They got a fucking... He's IDing them. There's the old man. Bitch-ass motherfucker. This bitch-ass motherfucker. That guy. I don't Oh, this was stupid, man. That punk bitch. I'm walking home. Y'all want to stay on the phone with me for another three minutes while I walk, while I rant about this? Crazy. This has been a news-breaking story here on Secure Our Rights, official news media, U.S. Press. This is LAPD. Wow. An 80-year-old man with a cane. It's sickening. We need more advocates like this guy. Film the police, L.A. Please go to his channel and subscribe. Give him a big shout out and let him know I sent you.
I mean, this is, I caught this live while he was doing it, and I was compelled. I got, this is a news-breaking story. It speaks for itself. I mean, we need more people that film the police, pick up your cameras, even when you see your neighbor, even if it ain't you. You see people pulled over, pick up your camera. As soon as you see the cops, you have to pick up your filming. Their cameras don't never work. For some reason, they get lost in the mail until it's too late to see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and please go to his channel. You know. Wow. Have a good night. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you have subscribed, make sure your bell notifications are on. Let's get this growing. We got to expose this and we got to defend for our rights. We got to have more people advocating just like this gentleman. Film the police, LA. Go to his channel. It's a must.